G'day, welcome back. Uh, happy New Year, happy holidays. Hope you had a good time. Uh, so yeah, the time's finally come. Going to start tearing into the golf, doing some work on that. So I'm not going to go into too much detail. I'm going to get started with actually doing stuff on the car. Uh, all you need to know really at this stage is to do all the work on the car we need to take the engine and gearbox out. So this episode, by the time we get to the end of this one, uh, we should be ready to take that engine and gearbox out. Now how do we do that? <coughs> well we've got our Bentley service manual and in here we've got a 27 step guide of how to take the engine and gearbox out in one assembly. So we're going to go with that. There's plenty of guides on the internet if you don't have the manual. A little kind of a variation on this but we're going to stick to this because this is what we've got. Of course I've never done this before, I'm not a professional. But I'm sure we can get it done. Um, so those 27 steps, we've pimped them out, stuck them on a board here. Uh, so we've got a plan of exactly how we're going to get it all to pieces. As you can imagine, it's got to disconnect all the electrical stuff, disconnect power steering, air conditioning, take a load of bolts out, take the bumper off the front, drain some coolant, and rip the whole sucker out the front. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, so yeah, we're at Mr. around, we'll just hook into it, and uh, next episode, whatever, we'll actually go through exactly what work we're going to be doing. But I just wanted to get started on the car, so we'll, we'll hook into it. Right, so step one is going to take our battery, disconnect the battery. So that's where we'll start. Start at the beginning. I'll actually take the battery out and put it on the conditioner. Make sure it's tipped off from when we're getting back in. So yeah, I'll sort that out. Out the way. Step two, we've got to take the uh, serpentine belt off. If you haven't done that before, you need one of these bolts. I think it's an M8 or something like that. And, uh, see, the, here's the tensioner here. You get a little bolt hole there. You just wind the bolt in it, until it takes the uh, tension off the belt. Our belt. So, okay, next up is the HD leads and the ignition coil. Uh, again, PR6, you need a special tool. The car comes with a plastic one, which 20 years later doesn't work, so I've got one of these for pulling the old um, uh, plug connectors off. So they're all different lengths, but so we'll um, label them as the front ones. Oh now the coil's over on this end of the engine. Um, it's underneath this cover, so yeah, we'll take the cover off first because it's coming off anyway, which is a load of um, spine bits, XZN, triple squares, whatever you call them. The big it's like an 8 mil M8 spline. So there's a winner when you hit the floor. Back there that I forgot about. 
this uh, plasticky cover. Quite why you'd want to cover your VR6 with plastic covers, I don't know, but that's what they did. Got a little plan to make this look a little bit better along the way. Keep all our screws and bits together with whatever they came off. You know, label them all. Label and bag them along the way too. Alright, so here's our coil. There's a multi plug. Shift it out of the way. Pop it under that electric water pump there or something. I think there's a couple of Allen bolts. And it comes away. Yep, yeah, 5mm Allen. got to be careful with these coils, they're um, a bit fragile when they get older, they kind of crack, so I'll we'll just go gentle. I'm afraid that our coil will shut. step is to disconnect the harness plug. This is all the wiring for the engine. All comes in on one big plug. Press off. There's our big multi-pin. Disconnect accelerator cable. We can do that one. Uh, next we'll do the air filter housing, so we'll disconnect our MAF. You've got to be careful with this, this sweet breather piece that attached to the um, intake. These are quite fragile. This I managed to find it a scrapyard near new. Uh, like 300 bucks or something stupid if you had to buy one. There is a delete kit for taking that out of the picture. But try and keep that factory, eh? The air filter. The air filter itself. Beautifully clean, look. Look after this car. Well, the air box itself is holding one of these rubber dongers. Hose. You see, I got lucky. This was um, a genuine one that was replaced. It was bought by someone. 2013. I got this in the scrapyard in 2014, so I did pretty well there. There's our airflow meter too. Yeah. Right, so I'll just show you where we're up to now. We're kind of most of the way through the first page. Uh, we'll come back to this one here. I'm not. Well, I just need to work out which um, hoses we've done, but we've done the rest of it. Um, yeah, just by doing that, we've made a lot of space towards the back of the engine over on this side. You can see it's a wee bit mucky under there, so once we get the engine out, we can degrease a whole lot. Yeah. 
so a slight oily seep on their gasket there, but we'll ignore that. There's our tensioner assembly with a bolt in. There's all our pulleys. Just a water pump. I haven't ordered a new water pump. And you see it'd be much easier to change it whilst the engine that rather than having to battle that chassis rail. But um trying to avoid spending money on parts. Easier said than done. Right, onwards and upwards. Right, next up we'll take the fuel lines off. Um, we'll plug them with a couple of bolts. Stop them dripping anywhere. Also we'll label which is which, so top and bottom. T for top. Top one, shift that out of the way somewhere. Stick our other bolt in. So bolt in, shift the clip over. Lose a finger. Next up we'll drain the coolant, um, you can't see it, we'll just go and do the old uh, hose clamp off the bottom radiator hose. I only changed the radiator six months ago was it? So I replaced all the clamps at the same time so it's a nice new Jubilee clamp. Yeah, that's interesting, there's a fair bit of movement in the radiator, maybe I didn't put it in too well. Coolant lines to go to the throttle body. Whilst we're dealing with a cooling system, I suppose we can um, <coughs> take this heater hose off from the back of the uh, cylinder head. Just 
free up some space, take off some of these coolant hoses. Hang on, just take a picture before I do that. I'm pretty sure I know where they all go, but. Yeah, so we've got the one off the um, top of the thermostat housing. We also take off a lower radiator hose. Right, whilst we're working around that transmission, we can also disconnect all the um, tranny harness plugs. Alright, that's um, probably all I'm going to do for this first session. Um, so pretty good progress so far. We've got most things clear of the uh, the engine. Fuel lines are off. Coolant hoses are off. Electrical connectors are all off. <coughs> Most of the cables. Uh, so yeah, next step according to the checklist is to um, take the exhaust off. So I'll be coming back tomorrow to do that, so I'm just going to spray it down. I don't really have penetrating all over, I've got WD 40, but better than nothing, I guess. We'll just give these bolts a bit of a spray just to make our life a bit easier tomorrow. All done.